Welcome to Figma Bytes, a video series that aims to teach you how to speed up your Figma workflow. Today we're going to show you around the Figma UI. This is a great video for somebody just getting started with Figma that wants to get familiar with the interface before diving in. On the left side of the screen, we have the Layers and Assets panel. This is where you'll find pages. Each page has layers inside of it that we can interact with and build up. You can hide and show the Pages section of the Layers panel and make new pages. From there, we can reorder the pages as needed. Now we're going to look at the top of the window at our toolbar. We can create a frame by clicking here or pressing the shortcut F. When we do that, you'll see some options on the right for standard frame sizes you might want to use. We can also create new frames by clicking and dragging when this tool is active. In the dropdown, you can see there's also a slice tool. Next, we have the shape tools. If we click this, you can see the shapes and shortcuts available for us to use as building blocks in our designs. Figma also has a pen and pencil tool. The pen tool works similar to other pen tools as far as clicking to create points, but has some differences if you are used to Sketch or Illustrator. We can cover the pen tool in another video. Next, our type tool. We can click that and create a new type element. There is also a hand tool, which lets you click and drag around on your canvas. The quickest way to access this tool is by holding the space bar down while you click and drag. And our last tool is comments, which let us communicate with our collaborators in the file. There are a few other things you can do in the top bar. Click the name of the file to edit it. You can click the drop down to see other things like version history, move, etc. In the top right, you can see the multiplayer section that shows all the people currently viewing the file. Fun tip, clicking on an avatar will show you the view of that person so you can follow along. We've also got share tools that let us invite people to our file with varying access permissions. The last two things in this bar are our present button, which will open the file as a prototype in a new tab, and our zoom controls. All right, now we're on to the right side, which includes our design, prototype, and inspect panels. Our design panel lets us change colors, apply strokes, add shadow effects, export files, manually apply width and height, border radius, constraints, auto layout, and more. The prototype panel comes in handy when building prototypes. And the inspect panel helps us with developer handoff and shows all the CSS attributes that make up the elements in our file. Okay, I know this is a big bite, but chew with us a little bit longer. I want to cover one of the best features of Figma, the asset panel that includes team library components. Click on assets and you can see all the components used in this file. We can grab something from the material library and drag it onto our canvas, and now it shows up in our used in this file section. If you want to access other team libraries from other teams across the org, we can click this book icon to see everything available to us. The Updates tab lets us opt in to any component or style updates that have been published. You can also use the search bar to find things you need, even if you don't have them installed. And finally, I want to make sure you know about these handy shortcuts that let us switch between panels quickly. Hitting the shortcut Option 1 opens up your Layers panel, Option 2 toggles the Assets panel, and Option 3 will take us to our team library. That's how you get around Figma. I hope this Figma Byte helps you get up and running with Figma without too many hurdles. Thanks for watching.